The Green Bay Packers are about to send shockwaves across the NFL. What do I mean by that? I'm going to break that down for you guys here in this video. If you are new, my name is Jason. I talk everything Packers. Please help show your support. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's jump into it, man. This has already been a fantastic week leading up to the Minnesota matchup, not just because it's going to be at home against our rivals, but this is a Minnesota team that is 3-0. and The Packers have the opportunity of giving them their first loss. If you're, if you're not careful, like me at the beginning of the season, I looked at the Packers schedule and this is a team and this is a game that I looked past. Now I'm looking forward to it. What a matchup it's going to be. And quite frankly, it's going to come down to coaching and you take a look at Matt LaFleur and Kevin O'Connell. I know it's just three games into the season, but these coaches, both these coaches right now are front runners for coach of the year just because of what they've been able to showcase so far this season. What do I mean by that with Matt LaFleur? Obviously losing his leader in Jordan Love, having to turn to a backup quarterback. Most cases, that's not all that bad if you have to turn to a backup quarterback for a few games. That's if they played all preseason while well, the Packers didn't have Malik Willis there. They didn't have the luxury of grooming Malik Willis. So they had to quickly pivot, turn to Malik Willis, come up with a game plan to best suit his skill set. Matt LaFleur is brilliant. What better person do you want than Matt LaFleur and Tom Clements in your corner to do that work with Malik Willis? Well, now Malik Willis has become a household name across the country, and the Packers are 2-0. Hence why Matt LaFleur being one of the front runners for coach of the year. The other one, Kevin O'Connell, and you'll take a look at the cards that he was dealt, obviously losing their stud quarterback in Kirk Cousins. He goes to, to Atlanta and then, you know, they use a top 10 pick to go and get McCarthy. McCarthy looked super good in preseason and then he gets hurt. Then inevitably you have to turn to Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold just hasn't had a, a great look at the NFL so far. Hasn't had a fair shake. Well, Behind good coaching staff, you're seeing what he's able to do. Sam Darnold looking like a very good quarterback. He's becoming a household name across the country, and that is due in part to Kevin O'Connell, what he's been able to draw up offensively. So what do I mean by the Packers about to send shockwaves across the league? Well, defensively, if you looked at the Packers last the last few seasons, especially last season, you had Joe Barry there, not able to do a whole lot with the, with what the talent, what that was in Green Bay. Jeff Halfley right now, well, let's take a look at what they or where they sit defensively. They're first in the NFL with seven interceptions. They're first in the NFL with set, with nine takeaways. Their first in the NFL with fewest defensive penalties. And I, and I had somebody comment on here saying, dude, that's a, such a load of crap. If you're going to talk about penalties, penalties don't mean crap. Are you kidding me? Penalties mean so much in a game. Defensively, if you're causing a lot of um, pass interferences, dude, that's that's such a game changer in, in, in this league. Anytime on offense, if you're having penalties, you're stalling drives, um, that's a huge deal. So that is a big stat line right there for the Packers' first fewest uh, defensive penalties. They're fifth with 11 sacks. 28.1 in third down conversion percentage, which is six. I'm sorry, 28.1 third down per, uh, conversion percentage, which is six. 71.6 passer rating allowed. That's seventh. 19.3 points per game. That's 12th. Jeff Halfley right now is cooking. Certainly, he is cooking up a good defense here in Green Bay. And I think the shockwave that you're going to see is that the Packers go from one of the bottom dwellers to one of the best defenses in the league when it's all said and done. They went from a team that, you know, it's just like, hey, if if our defense could keep us in games, that'd be great. But the Packers defense, you might end up seeing that they're going to start winning you some games. Brian Flores on the opposite side with Minnesota. This dude is brilliant. He's showcasing what he's able to do there in Minnesota. In fact, right here it says the Vikings are 3-0. and Brian Flores' defense might be the biggest reason why it goes on to say that Flores' defense is a huge factor to the Vikings start. You take a look at what Flores is doing there in Minnesota, and it's quite been quite brilliant. And in fact, early on in the season, if you looked at the power rankings, you had Minnesota, just one of the bottom dwellers, basement dwellers. I This is, a, again, this is a team that I look past. This team is showing that they are legit. Brian Flores, one of the reasons for that. So right now, as it sits, you have the Kansas City Chiefs, one, Buffalo Bills, through two. Minnesota Vikings are third, in, third ranked in the NFL right now. 
It says here in this article that Darnold was sacked four times, but the offense took advantage of great field position uh, on their first two scores, and that was thanks to the masterful defensive game plan of Brian Flores, who once again is a head coach candidate for this upcoming season. He blitzed the heck out of C.J. Stroud, and that plan worked. That freaks me out for us Packer fans because Jordan Love, if he comes back against the Minnesota Vikings, which I think he is going to, Again, I'm, I'm worried about that knee, and if they're going to be blitzing the crap out of C.J. Stroud, they're going to certainly be doing the same thing against um, uh, 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 Jordan Love and the Packers, which, I, you know, you you need Matt, Matt LaFleur to cook up something. He knows this defense legit, um, so they're probably going to have to rely heavily on Josh Jacobs. He's already shown that he can do that. Packers are ranked seventh right here on this list, and it says for two weeks in a row, Matt LaFleur has delivered a perfect uh, game plan. It's a masterpiece out there. What Matt LaFleur has been able to do and accomplish for the Green Bay without Jordan Love. Now, if they get Jordan Love back, what he's able to do and cook up is going to be something fun to watch for us Packer fans. So you take a look at defensively and when you compare the two, so you've got Pittsburgh lead in the league right there in, in um, yards allowed per game. The Packers a little bit further down, but they're middle of the road. Minnesota, again, about middle of the road as well. So they're probably neck and neck ish in yards allowed. While well, you look at rushing yards allowed, the Packers went from one of the bottom dwellers to now they're ranked like 10th on the list right there. Minnesota ranked third overall passing per uh, passing per game, uh, passing yards allowed both Minnesota and Green Bay a little bit further down there. But when you look at sacks, um, right there at the top, you've got Minnesota leading the league with 16 sacks. The Packers not far behind them, tied for fifth with 11 sacks. So this is going to be a, a fun game to watch. This is going to be a bloodbath. Um, I'm super pumped to watch it. So then you look at the, the takeaways. Right now, leading the league in the NFL, you've got the Packers averaging three takeaways a game. Last year, to this point, they averaged 1.1. Minnesota ranked third with two takeaways. Last year, they were 1.3. This is a defense in Brian Flores that they are sending a bunch of pressure, but this is also a Packer defense that is much improved and a different defense than what Kevin O'Connell and Minnesota Vikings are used to seeing. So I'm super excited about this matchup. And it's going to, again, come down to a coaching battle. Who's the better coaches there? Is it Kevin O'Connell and Brian Flores? Or is it Jeff Halfley and Matt LaFleur? Leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I can't wait. Give me your scores. Leave that as well in the comment section. But as always, go Pack Go.